It's D-Day at the Keane Family Winery. Time for big picking decisions for harvest. Andrew Keane, the winemaker, trusts his sister. Rachel's been running the family vineyard, growing outstanding grapes for years. But due to climate change, bushfires have become more common and there was a fire not far from the vineyard. You see, chemicals from the smoke can get into the grapes and taint the wine, wasting months of hard work and a lot of money. This means Andrew needs to be even more careful about which grapes go into the family's best wine. Rachel's picked some grapes from the vineyard for chemical testing and Andrew's made a small ferment, but now they have to make a decision. To pick or not to pick? That's the question. So there's a lot hanging on this critical decision. Andrew's feeling the pressure. He hasn't slept well since the fire. Should he pick the fruit and risk making a smoky wine or not and waste his sister's hard work all season? He's received chemical analysis that has detected smoky compounds in the grapes. He doesn't think he can smell or taste smoky flavour in the wine, but he's not sure. Maybe it is there. The problem is that everyone has a different sensitivity to these smoky compounds. It's not a matter of skill or experience, it's down to your genetics. So as knowledgeable as Andrew is, by relying entirely on his own senses to decide, he's risking everything on just one nose. His. He could be right and make another gold medal wine, but he could also be wrong and hurt their family's brand and his region's reputation. Sensibly, Rachel suggests there's too much at stake to risk it all on just his opinion. So Andrew contacts the AWRI for advice. It turns out they've been working hard on a solution to make his decisions easier. Instead of relying on a single taster, they recommend presenting the test wine and untainted samples to a blind tasting panel of 8 to 12 tasters. People known to be sensitive to smoky compounds. They also advise scientific procedures like randomisation, replication and statistics to decide if a wine really is smoke tainted. Andrew gives it a try and is now armed with rigorous data to help him make the right decisions. Fast forward a few vintages, the approach has paid off. More gold medals and a disastrous smoky vintage avoided. Andrew even helped set up a smoke sensory panel with the local association. With the weight off his shoulders, Andrew hasn't slept this well in years. The new scientific approach has helped Keen Family Wines to be better than ever. So, like his smoke-free Shiraz, Andrew's confidence and the family reputation and bank balance are getting better and better with age. Don't rely on just one nose. Take the guesswork out of your harvest decisions and eliminate the risk of tainted wine. Visit www.awri.com.au slash smoke sensory assessment to find out more.